Hello, it's Paul from DronesGrid.com and although I did write an article about the Xiaomi Fimi A3 a while ago on the site, I decided to also make a complete review video for those of you who want to see it in action and how the camera actually records. There's also going to be a few more videos comparing it with the DJ Spark and the Hubson Zeno. I won't go into a detailed unboxing of the drone, but overall the quadcopter comes with everything it needs for working properly, including spare props, the transmitter, battery and charger. This drone is in the price category under $300, which considering how capable it is, it may make it underpriced. Click in the corner right here if you want to see my top favorites under $300. A really unique aspect of this drone is that it comes with a very capable transmitter, with a big screen in the middle of it. This screen receives a 5.8 GHz signal from the camera, which means there's almost no lag, but also that the image can be grainy if you go farther away. One really cool fact about this drone is that you can also use any 5.8 GHz FPV goggles to see everything directly and fly it in first person. This can be especially useful when there's strong sun outside. The controller sticks are really high quality and the overall build itself is very well done, with minimal buttons to press. For example, there's a 4-directional joystick on the right that controls the menu functions, a return to home button, photo and video buttons, scroll wheel for changing the camera angle slowly and a scroll wheel for changing the exposure. You can also put the drone in sport mode or GPS, depending on what you want at the time. There's an amazing advantage of having the menu and every setting right in the transmitter. I always hated to have to connect the phone, enter the app and make sure the phone itself is charged and so on. This makes it for a much faster boot time until you're ready to fly. The screen also shows things like speed, distance, height, battery life, signal strength and more. Let's get to the drone itself. The Xiaomi Fimi A3 is a simple but effective camera drone, with a slim profile but unfortunately no foldable arms. That would have been much cooler. There is also a port for attaching future modular extensions that require battery power. The camera is stabilized on two axes and also comes with sideways electronic image stabilization, so you can definitely be assured that this is a well-stabilized camera. The quadcopter comes with a very stable GPS and the drone also returns to home when it loses signal or when it has low battery. There are basic flight modes that can be very helpful like orbit flight, follow me, selfie mode and even this cool FPV plane mode. It's really cool to fly like this and wear the goggles it makes you feel like a fighter jet pilot. This is how the follow me function works. It's quite precise from what I could see but a downside is that the drone doesn't turn at the same time, it only follows straight. The orbit mode has a few settings that you can adjust even while it's doing it like speed of rotation, direction and circle size. And as you can see, you can also change the camera angle as you please. The drone doesn't come with any cameras underneath or fancy obstacle avoidance sensors. The range of the drone has been tested to be somewhere at around 1 km maximum, but it starts losing image transmission sooner than that, which makes it harder to see, but then again, I tested in a city which has a lot of interference. The photos this drone takes come in two versions, a 16x9 one that's in 1080p resolution and a 4K photo that's more detailed. This actually makes it quite good if you're looking for a cheap high quality photography drone. As you can see the image isn't perfect as sometimes it looks overexposed, which means the dynamic range isn't the best, yet with some careful manual adjustment you can take some amazing footage that as you can see is very well stabilized. Never before have this been possible for under $300. So if 1080p is enough for you and you want a good stable drone to play around with or actually take some awesome photos and videos with, this is the one. The battery lasts for about 18 to 20 minutes, which is quite a lot. I recommend getting a spare one though. I will leave links in the description for the drone and spare accessories. If you're still undecided what to choose or have a specific budget, go on the link at the top or the one in the description to check my top drones in each price category from under $50 up to $1,000 and more. However, if you're really specific about the specs you want on your drone, go and check the drones for sale tool that you can find over here or again in the description. There you can filter the drones by price, battery life, range, camera, gimbal stabilization and even by weight to see if you have to register the drone in your country or not. 
Don't forget to check the next recommended video for you right here. Check the drones for sale tool right here. Or if you want, you can subscribe and hit the bell notification icon if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and see you later alligator.